what comes in your discovery packet. So, you know, discovery, discovery packet, uh, discovery pack, that is a phrase that is, you know, probably talked about in jails and prisons more than just about any other phrase, right? It's something that we get asked about all the time. Well, when, when do I get my discovery pack? Where's my discovery pack? What's in my discovery pack, right? Well, let's talk about what some of the common practices are to the west side of Atlanta, south side of Atlanta, in places like Carrollton and Greenville and Noonan and LaGrange and Franklin, uh, when it comes to a felony case and those entry pa uh, discovery packets. So prosecutors uh, in those areas typically make discovery available to the defense, uh, the defendant and defense counsel as soon as there is an accusation or an indictment. Uh, and we usually know that that's happened by receiving a notice of arraignment um, or the prosecutor will send us a copy or maybe the clerk sends us a copy, but that is when discovery becomes available. At that time, we're able to get discovery. Some offices send it, some have, them, have us pick it up in person. Um, and there are usually quite a few things in those discovery packs. And it, it could vary based on the case, obviously, because not, nobody's discovery is exactly the same. But generally, you're always entitled to a, a copy of the indictment or the accusation. And that's so important because that really f is how we know exactly what the prosecutors have charged us with, right? Uh, what you were arrested on could be different than what somebody's accused of or indicted on. So getting a copy of that is very important. They usually will give us, and they have to give us at some point, copies of any of the statements, statements that def the defendant gave, any witness statements, police reports, surveillance video, dash cam, body cam footage from officers, photos of the crime scene, um, narratives written by the officers, any medical examination, autopsy reports if we're talking about a murder case or, some, or a case involving the loss of life, if it's a vehicular homicide or something like that, a skirt report from where the uh, Georgia State Patrol went out and reconstructed the accident scene. Anything that those prosecutors are going to use to try to convict someone or anything that could prove that someone is, uh, is uh, possibly not guilty, those are the types of documents that we are usually seeing in discovery packs. And there are, there are laws that are uh, Brady uh, material and stuff like that where the prosecutors have to turn st stuff over, but the lo local prosecutors here are good about getting us that information, getting it to us quick, and letting the defense attorneys and the defense bar get to work sooner rather than later on going through that discovery.